All right, friends, here we are on page 148. Whoa, some bad writing there. So page 148, we're doing the um, the peanut butter, oh, peanut butter, goodness gracious, the M&M, plain and peanut M&M. And I just made up these numbers, so nothing super exciting. So take a minute, write these numbers down in your table, and then hit pause and try to answer questions one through eight. You know, some of the questions are a little bit tricky in terms of wording, but try it out. And then once you have done as much as you can do, then go back and watch this video to, to uh, watch the explanation of one through eight. Okay? Fantastic. So here we go. Number one. Now, I'm assuming that you have your table in front of you, so I'm not going to keep referencing back to the table. I'm just going to go ahead and go through these questions. So, the probability of selecting a red candy. Now, that's red candy overall. So, if you recall, you've got four total red candies, and you've got 24 candies overall, plain and peanut together. So, as we talked about in class, we want to change that to a decimal, and if you round to three decimal places, we get .167. So, if you were just to throw all these candies in a row, uh, in a bowl, you would have a 16.7% chance of picking out something red, right? All right, number two, what about the probability of selecting a peanut candy? So, when you look at this, we've got 10 peanut candies out of the total of 24. And when you change that to a decimal, you would get 0.417. Number three, what is the probability of selecting a green colored plain candy? All right, now the way this is worded, green colored plain candy, this is implying and. We want green colored and plain. Okay, no problem. So if I look on my table, I have one green colored plain candy, and there's no condition. I just want green colored plain. So it's out of all of them. So just one out of 24, which is 0 0.042. Similarly, but a little bit differently, in number four, what is the probability of selecting a green candy if it is plain? Notice, let me get a fun color here. Notice, if it is plain, we have ourselves a condition here. So when you see the word if, if it is plain, that's going to be on the denominator. So I have 14 plain, so that's going to be on the bottom. And what I want to know about is the green candy. So I'm only looking at the plain candies now, and there's one green, so one out of 14. So this is saying, you know, I'm allergic to peanuts, so I'm not going to deal with those at all, only the plain candies, and I end up with a uh, .071 probability of picking out a green candy if we know it's plain. Number five, probability of selecting a candy that is either blue or yellow. Okay, so remember, we want blue plus yellow minus blue-yellow. Well, if you know anything about M&Ms, there are no blue-yellow M&Ms, right? Tie-dye has not yet reached mainstream M&M, so we don't have this part of it. There is no overlap. So I just take the blue candies, and there are five of those, plus the yellow candies, and there are three of those. So together, I have 8 over 24, which as a decimal is 0.333. So you only have to subtract the overlap if you actually have an overlap, right? Then I look at number 6. Find the probability of selecting a candy which is peanut or brown. Okay, I need a new color for fun here. So let's go peanut plus brown minus P brown. <laughs> the peanut brown ones. Do we have peanuts that are brown? Yes! So since there is an overlap, we're golden, so we say peanut. We have 10 peanuts out of the 24 total. Well, how many total brown candies do we have? And that answer is 4. So total peanut here, total brown here, and now I look at the overlap. There are 3 peanut candies that are brown. So when I put those together, 10 plus 4 is 17, 17 minus, excuse me, 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 minus 3 is 11, I swear my math is not horrible, and then when I take 11 over 24, I get 0.458. All 
All right. And number seven. Find the probability of selecting an orange candy if it is a plain candy. So again, I've got if it's plain. Plain means 14, 14 on the bottom. So then on the top, orange. Looking only at the plain column, I've got four orange candies out of the 14 plain. So 4 out of 14 gives me a point two eight six probability. And number 8, find the prob probability of selecting a candy which is plain or not blue. So I want plain plus not blue minus plain not blue candy. And we do have plain candies that are not blue, so that is true. Okay. Now, this one might be a little bit trickier. So the plain part is easy. Hopefully, that part is easy. I need a new color. Let's go blue. Plain. Well, there are 14 plain candies. Now, the next piece is not blue. So I'm going to just go forward here for a minute, and let's find the probability of a blue candy. Well, there are five blue candies out of 24. So, my friends... If I'm talking about not blue, well, not blue is 1 minus blue. So, if I would take 1 minus 5 over 24, what's left? Well, 19 over 24. Because 1 minus 5 over 24. If I want to think about subtracting fractions, 1 is the same as 24 over 24. All right, because anything over itself here, 24 over 24 is 1, and now we have common denominators. So denominator stays the same. I subtract my numerators, and that's what gives me 19. So not blue, right? This is not blue, if we can go back to that. Say, okay, so plus not blue, which we just found to be 19 over 24, minus plain not blue. Okay, so let me go to another clean page. Well, let's talk about plain blue. I know that there are three plain blues, right? Because there are three plain blue M&Ms out of the 24 total. So that means um, plain not blue, and this is a little bit kind of different. It's not exactly the one minus because we're looking out of all. There are only 14 plain total. So plain blue is 3 of 14. So plain not blue would be 11 of 14. So a plain not blue probability would be 11 out of 24 because 24 is our total when we're talking about total probability. But just looking at the plain ones that are not blue, there's only 14 planes and 11 of them are not blue. I hope that makes sense. So plain not blue would be 11 out of 24 minus 11 out of 24. So, hopefully that makes kind of sense. This is, problem is a little bit trickier. And now when I do my numerators, I get 14 plus 19 is 33. 33 minus 11 is 22. 22 out of 24 gives me a probability of 0.917. And if you think about a plain candy or something that's not blue, there's only two candies that fall in that, in that purpose of plain or not blue. Or I should say that don't fall in that. And that are the blue not plain ones, and there's only two of them, so that makes sense. So, okay, that's page 148. Hope it, hope it makes sense. Email me with questions, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Thanks.